Hi, I'm Owen Reinhardt. We're here in Aiken, South Carolina on my farm, Asinia. Um, I'm here to talk about preparing a horse for an important tournament final tomorrow. Um, one of the hardest things to do in polo is to perfectly tune your horses for the game <clears throat> so that they will run, stop, and do everything. So there's a couple of different ways. One is if I've got a game, if the, if the game's in the morning, I'm more likely to do it in the afternoon. If the game's in the afternoon, in some cases, I would do it in the morning. But generally, when I was playing at a high level, I would do it the afternoon before because I wanted to feel the horses, know how they were, how they felt. And also, I didn't want to bother with it in the morning with, the, with grooms, with everything else when you got a big game coming up. And so I would start at about 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon. and when I get on a horse that's going to play tournament polo, I want them paying attention to me straight away. So I get on them and I squeeze them just to get them paying attention to me, even just tap them on the shoulder with the whip a few times so that they're paying attention. I'll warm them up for two or three minutes and then I'll work them at speed for maybe a minute. And I like to go laterally and right and left and because in the game, if the ball jumps to the right or the left, you want to have the lateral mobility to be able to get to every ball. And polo at speed, is you're generally not stopping. You're always playing, as I call it, across the neck, meaning that you're going laterally. And so I'll blow them out, or as I say, blow them out, which literally means <clears throat> you're blowing their lungs out. You know, you'll hear a horse when you, after you, you, you run them, that they'll go, pff, pff. they're actually blowing the snot and everything out of their nose and out of their lungs. We've always called it blowing them out. So it varies, but I usually will give them one length and maybe two, maybe one three-quarter speed and then one in the last half of the field really sort of blast them. And then at the very end, stop. Make sure they stop straight and I can feel how their mouth is. If they're responsive and they stop and they give, I want them to give, then I'll probably quit. Usually I will stop, not completely, but slow down and turn once to the right and once to the left. If they do it right, if they do it the way I want them to, I'll probably just quit and, and get off and go to the next horse. Cecil Smith used to say, I got this from James Rice, who worked for him for a long time, was that when he finished riding them, he wanted them on their tippy toes. And so if you think of them coming back and they're sort of like, they're, they're ready, they're waiting for me to go. Um, Tommy Wayman used to always make us ride ours in the morning of a game because he said that you'll see a lot of players will go out and the first minute or two their horses are luggy and doggy and they're not doing what they want. You'll see somebody sometimes maybe pop them with the whip to wake them up. What he wanted us to do is go ride them for five minutes, get them on their tippy toes and then they'd be ready for the game. So they would be ready immediately. So it's kind of what you're comfortable with. When I was playing with Tommy I did it in the morning because that's the way he wanted to do it. And then when I started sort of maybe being more of a, of a higher you know, a bigger portion of the team, I preferred to do it in the afternoon. And I would do it with each horse. Some of them, you know, you get to know your horse's personality. Some of them you may have to give a little bit more, some a little bit less. But if I was going to tell you to do two things, I'd say warm them up and blow them out. And at the end, stop them. Make sure that they're sensitive. And I would tend to jazz my horses up because I wanted them, I wanted them you know, as Cecil said on their tippy toes, or as James Rice said on their tippy toes, ready to, sitting there where my hand is waiting for me. So if I went like that, they exploded. And if I brought back, then they stopped. And so they were always paying attention to me.
It varies from some horses to other ones. This horse is doing it perfectly, so it's not taking very long. I'm working on the lateral mobility. And I'm gonna stop at the end. You stop perfectly. The mouth feels good. I'm gonna feel his mouth. So I'm taking, I'm holding, I'm holding. He's giving it to me. He gave me everything I wanted. He came back to a stop. I'm gonna go to the right ones. Just take a step back. Take a step back, go to the left. His mouth is good, he's got air. He did everything I wanted, so he'll be ready to go this afternoon. Why you're slowing down so let them let them go let them take you just don't miss a ball <laughs>